thing I can honestly say, in America, whatever happens to black people and law enforcement will eventually happen to our Caucasoid counterparts. See, they don't want to believe that these things will happen to them. They don't want to believe a cop will rough them up, but they will. See, when black people try to tell you these cops will grab you, tackle you down, and put a bullet in you over a bunch of nothing. Maybe when it happens to a white woman, perhaps it'll become a little more real for you. Video shows Utah nurse screaming, been handcuffed after refusing to take blood from unconscious victim. Okay, cops have tackled black people down for some of the dumbest things ever. And many of you will come on to a black channel and agree with the cop, no matter how petty the situation is. But if it's a black person involved in it, you just always got to find your way to agree with the cop. Now we got this petty situation and this nurse getting roughed up by the cop. Let me see you come to this channel now and post that same BS. I bet you it's a different story now, ain't it? This just go to show you, you are not above it. In fact, you count on more of this happening to many more of you Caucasoids out here. Get ready because it's coming. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and roll this video so you can see exactly what happened to this nurse. And as black people, we've seen this a million times. So let's now remind our Caucasoid counterparts that cops don't give a damn about the Constitution when it's you. I'm just putting on speaker so you can. So, I have this. It says obtaining blood samples for police enforcement from patients suspected to be under the influence. Okay, this is something that you guys agree to with this hospital. The three things that allow us to do that are if you have an electronic warrant, patient consent, or patient under arrest. And neither of those things, the patient can't consent. He told me repeatedly that he doesn't have a warrant, and the patient is not under arrest. So I'm just trying to do the, what I'm supposed to do. That's, that's all. So. Okay, so I take it without those in place, I'm not going to get blood. Is that, am, am I fair to surmise that? Alex, you're not Yeah. I'm, okay. I don't know. I have no idea why he's blaming me. I'm just representing. She's the one that has told me no. Yeah, but sir, you're making a huge mistake right now. Okay. Like, like you're making a huge mistake because you're threatening and burning. Okay. No, we're done. We're, we're done. You're under arrest. We're going. We're done. Now, did you see that? And I also want you to take notice that there were other cops there and you notice not one of them stopped this man. Not one. So much for good cops, huh? She said everything that you've heard black victims say when they have done nothing to, have, to break the law. She didn't break the law, but 
look at what happened to her. There are many instances when you're watching the videos, black people didn't break the law, but those cops will make a situation out of nothing. This is something we have been trying to tell you for the longest. Now watch some of your own get the same treatment. A nurse said she was assaulted and illegally arrested by a Salt Lake City police detective for following a hospital policy that does not allow blood draws from unconscious patients. Now, what is so hard to understand? What is so, un why? You know why? Because these cops are so used to violating everybody's constitutional rights in their opinion, it don't matter. Get the blood anyway. We don't give a damn if he's unconscious, do it anyway. We don't care if it's not your policy. We don't follow policy, so why are you worried about policies? That's pretty much what he was saying. Now, in the real scheme of things, cops are supposed to protect and serve, but lately, for many decades, actually. It's almost like they think we're supposed to serve them and give them whatever they want. It doesn't work that way. The problem is law enforcement has gotten long out of control. And there have been many people that's been satisfied with their rogue behavior until it affects them. All right. Footage from University Hospital and officer body cameras showed Detective Jeff Payne and Nurse Alex Wobel in a standoff over whether the policeman should be allowed to get a blood sample from a patient who has been injured in a July 26 collision in Northern Utah that left another driver dead. You know, this is nothing new for black people. I'm gonna say it again. The only time you seem to wanna stand up is when it happens to someone caucasoid then you're ready to stand up and be oh the cops got too much power and you know what the funny thing is you're not saying anything that black people in this country haven't said not one word coming out of your mouth have not been said by the black community before just like the police shootings. You're in agreement with all of it until it happened to a white woman. And then you say the same words black people say about the cops. Live long enough and you will see it happening to you. Maybe this needs to happen because it will bring reality to you. I'm not going to go through this entire article. I'll post it in the description box and you can read it on your own. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can donate to my channel, please do. Peace, family.